Hello my Pisces babies, welcome to Sold Out Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for July 26th through August 1st for anyone with Pisces in their sun, moon, rising. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome here. So Pisces, we're going to just start by taking a look at the overall energy this week. Interesting, Page of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Justice. We've got some Libra, Earth energy, water energy showing up, okay? But there's some unexpected news. Do you want to talk to somebody? Somebody's coming to talk to you. Um, yeah, the Page of Cups, that's a message. That's um, a curiosity energy, a passionate energy, okay? If you look, there's a fish in this cup, okay? Now, the trick is the fish could pop out at any moment, okay? So this is an energy of, like, seizing the opportunity here. But, um, I mean, justice is here. Balance, truth, equality for all, the highest good. Six of Pentacles, equal giving and taking, okay? Somebody may be helping you or you guys could be helping someone else. You guys may be getting a message, okay? A surprise, a gift. Something you don't see coming yet. To clarify this, we have the King of Cups, the High Priestess in the reverse, and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Okay, you guys have been dealing with somebody who's very blocked, withdrawn, okay? Um, the King of Cups, he has a lot of love, but he doesn't show it. It's not like the Queen where she's a source, okay? The King of Cups feels love, but he holds back, okay? He has more control. Um, the High Priestess in the reverse, somebody you're not speaking with. Okay, secrets, things being repressed, and there's like an energy here with the page of swords in the reverse of like mental exhaustion, just like beating your head against like a freaking wall, right? Hmm, interesting, so somebody that you guys are not talking to or who you felt was not being honest with you, somebody you could have blocked out of your life or they blocked you. We're talking about that this week. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's look in your recent past. Here's the Queen of Cups, Divine Counterparts here. Five of Cups in the reverse, the Lovers in the reverse. Okay. A pattern of love. The way we know love, the way we show love, the way we accept love. The Lovers in the reverse, okay? This is a separation energy, okay? It can be heartbreak. It can be disconnected. The lovers can also speak about a choice, okay? And so often, um, that choice does come down to are we going to love ourselves as much as we give love to others, okay? And I feel like that's um, a lot of what this is talking about. Now, the Five of Cups in the reverse, this is showing me that you're trying to heal and find forgiveness, okay? An acceptance of what couldn't be. Again, the Queen of Cups, source of love. Okay, she's so full of self-love that her cup is overfilling with love to nourish others. As I say that, more Libra energy flying out, some Cancer energy with the Empress. Okay, abundance, nurture, having empathy, feeling connected, being devoted. Clarifying the lovers in the reverse, please, spirit. The fool, three of swords in the reverse, ten of swords. Taking a leap of faith. Aries energy, okay? Going on a journey, okay? This could be a spiritual journey, okay? You could have moved away from a situation, left home. Okay, but so much of this is a learning experience. Again, more coming out of the heartbreak energy, okay? But there's betrayal here. There's still a lot of pain, okay? Death of the ego has been coming up for you guys a lot. Oh, we threw one. Capricorn energy showing up here, okay? Toxic attachments, perhaps, okay? For a lot of you, this could be a person from your past, a family member, um, a divine counterpart with the King and Queen of Cups here. 
okay? I definitely am getting this is relationships, okay? And patterns of relationships. But somebody uh, specifically that you're not speaking to that has caused you much grief, okay? The foundation of love was out of balance here. Toxic, toxic patterns, obsession, control, okay? Lots of toxicity. Not speaking your truth with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Your current energy. Nine of Swords in reverse. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Swords. Okay. You guys are facing your inner demons, okay? And we can see that in the past. Some, some of you may already be working on your shadow work be in therapy, be in the process of healing, okay? I don't see, again, as you being in communication with this person, but you're looking at the relationship still. You're not turning your back to it. You're willing to look at what was toxic, what was not, okay? Now, there's still things that you don't see here, okay? Because there's things left over that are carrying over from the past, okay? Ten of Swords, the Devil, But you're also carrying two cards here supporting it. Empathy, forgiveness, okay? You guys are still learning, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. And here with the Nine of Swords in the reverse, okay? Facing your demons, doing the shadow work, okay? Some of you guys could have been not sleeping at night, okay? Having terrible, terrible anxiety, depression, worry, paranoia, okay? It's your time right now this week to realize that being so fixated on something is an energy of perfectionism. It has to look like this. That's actually setting you back and that's actually making you go into the seven of swords energy, okay? Escapism, feeling like you have to defend what's right, set all these boundaries, but it's like, it doesn't have to be this heavy. That's what I'm feeling. Wow, yeah, clarifying the Seven of Swords. You guys are like, it's really heavy. <laughs> it's really, really heavy, but you're so willing to keep going. It's not, nothing's out of balance here, okay? I'm just seeing you on your journey. It's not that you're not doing enough. You're exactly where you should be. This is beautiful. Like, yeah, you're defending yourself, okay? You have boundaries, but you've made the choice to take off the mask and look for a new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. A new way of being, okay? Planting seeds, manifesting what it is you do want, okay? Just be mindful, Pisces, okay? There is still stuff in your shadow, okay? So when feel, things feel hard or you feel lost, just remind yourself, I am still healing, okay? Be mindful of escapism energies, okay? Overindulgence in other areas where you have to put a mask on, okay? It can be as simple as social media, okay? Going out, shopping too much, drinking, watching, whatever, okay? Like, little things like this, okay? But clarity is coming. And with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, you guys are feeling unorganized, okay? But at the same time, it's only because there's still some clearing out that needs to be done. I'm actually going to clarify this devil energy that popped out earlier. Let's just get a look at what it is exactly that's talking about. Leo energy here. Sun. We're ready for illumination here. All right, clarifying the devil. You guys ready? Hermit. Virgo. Ten of Cups in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. It's how you know love. Your view on love, your view on connection, communication, okay? Listen to your inner voice to guide you, what feels right. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Just be mindful because this is like um, a distracted energy, okay? And we can see that a little bit here still with the Seven of Cups, but it's in reverse. I'm not panicked about this, okay? Just be mindful, okay? Don't turn a blind eye, guys, like I was saying, okay? Be mindful that, yes, you're moving away from the situation, but that does not mean, okay, I've healed. There's more, okay? There's more to learn. And the energy that surrounds you 
The Three of Pentacles in the reverse, the star in reverse, the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Could be an Aquarius. There's Earth here also. Um, literally, it just says everything that's surrounding you right now is a distraction. <laughs> you guys are really being asked to focus on what it is you do want, okay? Don't even look around what's going on around you, okay? Because there's a lot of healing that needs to go on, okay? People are experiencing their own test of faith, okay? Their own distractions of third-party energies, okay? But with the Ten of Wands here in the reverse, this is somebody getting ready to go and do their own healing, okay? An acceptance of they have too much burden, so much on their plate, they're not able to go within. They're not able to work together, okay? This person's completely distracted right now, and it's not even... I'm not even going to clarify it. It's just not worth it. That's where they are. Fair warning. Okay. So let's get some advice going forward for this week, please, Spirit. Knight of Cups in the reverse, the Sun in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah. Spirit's letting you know you absolutely it's time to clear out this crap in the past. Okay? But remember, you're not just bringing this, guys. I'm emphasizing it because this is what needs to be illuminated. Okay? The Sun is here in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You're just going to keep experiencing blocks, delays. Okay? But please understand this is destiny for you to go through this. Okay? Okay? You're not just bringing devil energy from the past. You're bringing forgiveness here. You're bringing forgiveness here. You're bringing wanting and being ready. Not even just wanting. This is wanting, okay? <laughs> being ready for a new way, okay? You nurture yourself. You stay connected with yourself. You remember your source of love. Pisces energy right here, okay? You carry the lessons with you. Okay? So we can bring balance. And we can finally know healthy love. Connection. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for you guys. Let's check out with our romance oracles this week. Please, spirit. What does Pisces need to know about their love life for this week? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Beautiful, okay? Ask yourselves, is there anybody that I'm willing to practice with this new sense of vulnerability looks like? Safety, okay? Little by little, too, I'm hearing, getting to know each other. It doesn't have to be big bombs of information here, okay? Layer by layer. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Heck yes. That's right. One more, please. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's right. Yeah. You guys, it's surrounding you, okay? It's coming. Right? Hmm. The whole energy of the reading being fairness is coming. Equal give and take unexpected news and then ending with the wheel of fortune in reverse it's like the universe is saying like we hear you you guys want to level up okay i have to swipe on my phone i'm sorry you guys want to level up but you have to clear this star brothers protection loyalty safety trust called soul gifts and training it is time to step up that's what i have for you this week pisces if any of you would like to book a personal reading with me you can find that information in the description box below give this video a thumbs up say hey to me in the comments hit that subscribe button but most of all be kind i love you bye